Hi, this is Vi from Red House Kitchen. Today we are making Kung Pao Chicken, Kung Pao Ji Ding. In this video, I walk you through the cooking process step by step, and talk about tips on how to make it spot on. Let's start with the chicken. I think chicken thigh is the best cut for this dish. It's tender and flavorsome, but if you prefer, you can use chicken breast instead. Cut it into cubes, about two centimeters in size. The marinade is quite simple. Firstly, add cornstarch and water. Mix until all the liquid disappears. Then a dash of sesame oil to lock in the moisture. Crunchy peanuts are essential to authentic Kung Pao chicken. You can either toast or deep fry them. Toasting is obviously simpler and healthier too. Keep the heat low and stir constantly. When you see brown spots like this, they're done. Since this is a signature Sichuan dish, you can't make it without dried chili and Sichuan pepper. I like using two types of chilies. The long one is called Chao Tian Jiao, facing heaven chilies in English. It has a high level of spiciness. The short one is Deng Long Jiao, lantern chili. It tastes quite mild but very aromatic. You can use any types of dried chili as long as they're fresh. In other words, they look vibrantly red and shiny. Sichuan pepper gives a numbing sensation in your mouth, which pairs very well with hot chilies. If you're unfamiliar with it, check out my blog post about this unique spice. I'll leave a link in the description below. You would also need quite a lot of scallions for this dish. Use the stem part only. Cut it into chunks to match the chicken size. I'm saving the green part for scallion pancakes and scallion bread. You can find their recipes on my blog. Now peel some garlic. Cut it into thin slices. And some sliced ginger which adds great taste to this dish too. This is the last thing to do before we start cooking. Light soy sauce. Dark soy sauce. Black rice vinegar. Sugar. Chaoxing rice wine, water, and cornstarch. Mix well. Then we're ready to do the final stir fry. Set your wok over the highest possible heat. Add the chili and Sichuan pepper first. Then the chicken goes in. Fry for about 30 seconds. Add scallions, garlic, and ginger. I'm using a traditional carbon steel wok, which is best for this type of quick stir-fry. You can use a frying pan too, but I highly recommend you to invest on a good wok. It does make a difference in terms of taste. When the chicken is fully cooked, you don't see any pinkness left, and it can be easily broken apart. Always give the sauce a good stir before you pour it in. Once the sauce thickens, turn off the heat immediately. The final step, add the toasted peanuts. Give a quick mix and it's ready to be served. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed my video. I'll see you next time with another delicious recipe.